Dolly here. Welcome back to Gypsy Rose Papery. I'm here to show you how I'm going to set up my little Delphonics utility pouch. A while back, I asked if anybody wanted to see how I would set this up. I specifically bought this one for when I go to Disney because it's small and compact. And all my stuff has fallen out. Um, I only have these little like stamp stickers in here so far, but um, I kind of compiled everything that I think I would need when I go there. Um, I'm trying to pack light <laughs> while still keeping in mind that like when you're doing junk journaling, there's a lot of components kind of involved, a lot of layering. So yeah, and then I wanted to show you my Disney journal. And this journal is so cute. I got this from Junie Desiree and um, the specific purpose of it was for a Disney uh, like journal so I can take with me because it's small and it's Snow White. And then April at Pink Oddbird had given me this one, which I was going to turn into a planner, um, but I feel like that would kind of be a waste of a good journal because I already have a planner that I love and there are so many people doing junk journal planners. I'm just going to link a few below that way you guys can get a better idea about how to turn a junk journal into a planner. I hope none of you are disappointed, um, but I just don't want to create a planner out of this book because I already love it the way it is and I think it would be another great Disney journal because it's small and compact and I can carry it with me. So anyway, I guess we can have a bit of a chat while I do all this stuff. So I've been away for a little bit only because my cat Mimi, who is like part of my heart and soul, is sick. She ended up having like this growth near her mammary gland and they think it's actually cancerous so I've been going through the, like that whole waiting and anxiety and all that stuff so hence why I'm making this video to kind of try and distract myself from this crazy time so um I had some little sticker uh stamps I bought these a while ago and I haven't really used them much, but I thought it would be nice and compact. And I'm keeping in mind the like square footage of each page. Um, you know, it's pretty, it's a pretty compact journal. So um, this would take quite a good bit of part of the page. So just keeping that in mind with the stuff that I am including in my pouch. So I thought it would be good in here, but then they fell out. So maybe... I will put them all in the inside. And then again, I will be carrying this in like my backpack. So um, I'm not too worried if something does fall out, like I can retrieve it. It's not going to be like lost forever. So that's my first thing. So since you guys had already seen that, I might as well start with that first. And then kind of like tools that I would need. So tools obviously would be glue sticks because that's how I will attach things to my page. And I think this is probably too shallow. Yeah. Um, maybe we throw pockets. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. That is actually pretty perfect right there. So we'll put the glue sticks in the front. And then I have a um, glue dot runner, which is really great. Like when you don't want to get the glue out and you're just kind of like on the go, kind of quickly wanting to stick something down. Um, this is a great alternative. So I guess since we have the glues here, it might fit. Yeah, it does actually fit great right in there. And I need writing utensils. And so I always have a permanent black marker because you never know, right? You never know like what kind of surface area you're going to write on. 
and like if you buy maybe a laminated postcard from one of the gift shops or something uh you know regular pen's not gonna cut it it'll like wipe off unless you use a ballpoint but then you won't really see it so anyway um permanent marker is always a yes please i'm gonna put these here um i always 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 have to have my hand lettering pen because like this is my ride or die <laughs> i am an avid hand letterer i do it on pretty much everything so always black and always tombow and then i have this pink one which i've used but not as like prominently as my black um and i just it's, it was expensive so i don't want it to run dry so it's pink and it's fun and it's disney so hey i'm gonna go ahead and include this one in here with the hopes that i will use it more and it color coordinates with the pouch so that is the writing utensils oh and then of course i need a nice trusty uh, ballpoint pen that way I can write like also unlaminated stuff or like overwashy and stuff without it wiping off so always have a trusty ballpoint pen that's it for my writing utensils and then and then of course I need a scissor um, these I got at Amazon. You can find them. I will try to link them below. I think they come in a pack of two. I may already have them linked under my Amazon affiliate links, but if not, I will add it. Um, and so this you got to be careful with. Um, you don't want it to like slide out and break a hole through your bag. So I'm going to put this trusty little guy on the inside where he's safe. I also want to bring along a hole puncher because who doesn't love a hole puncher? Um, let's say you make a makeshift tag out of park ephemera and lo and behold, instant uh, tag with the hole puncher. So the hole puncher, um, maybe here, maybe in this big pocket right here. Yeah. Um, and then of course, I'm going to need a stapler because everybody needs a stapler. Like, I use staples or I staple mostly everything. I really love a nice stapler. So, I'm going to slide him in right there. And actually, I'm going to move my pink um, hand lettering pen and put that right at the front there then I have this little tiny ink um ink pad and these are from um Tuesday morning I got these I got a whole bunch they were on sale and it's like they come three in a pack and I really like to use these for obviously stamping and for distressing. So there's a cute little pocket right back here and I'm just gonna slide that little sucker right in. And of course you can't have a stamp ink without stamps. Um, these are just two kind of like industrial type wood stamps. They're really, really lightweight. Um, I do not remember where I got these. I think it was at an Etsy shop. Um, like a stationary Etsy shop, but you can find these all over like on Wish and stuff, but I think these are really just universal and would add something to my page if I decided to stamp. So these I'm going to probably put on the inside here. Well, actually, I think I'm going to put one out here, kind of like that. And then this one can go on the inside. I'm going to move my little um, scissor. I'm going to put this one in this pocket right here. So on the inside of these, you have like an additional three pockets. Two small ones, a big one with a Velcro, and then you have like the interior of the bag. The next thing I want to include is just little bits that I can use in actual journaling. So like a lot of ephemera. And I have some printed ephemera and I don't really, um, in my like junk journals that I buy, I end up removing all the ephemera. I don't, I'm not really an ephemera person, like in my, in the junk journal that I buy, but like if I'm personally junk journaling, 
And then I like little things like this to kind of add some interest. I have some paper scraps that I'll also add. And so these I'll put in here. And actually, now that I think of it, I think I will put a hole punch in the middle there. So, and actually, you know what? I'm going to rearrange stuff. I'm going to put my stapler in here too to kind of act as a barrier in the middle between the two sides there. So I have an empty pocket here and another empty pocket right up here. So I have some bigger journaling cards. I have some printables from a journal, which I'll put there. And then I have these really gorgeous Graphic 45 like princess cards, which I thought would be perfect at Disney. And I save the packaging from my Disney pin. So if I have my bigger one here, I don't know if you guys remember my bigger blue one. I've got all the Disney pins on the front. I'm gonna save this one so I can get some pins for when I go, just for this one specifically. Um, but I save the packaging to use as washi cards because they're sort of um, laminated. So I just have quite a bit of washi here. And it will look really cute, right kind of sticking out of the front there because of little Mickey ears. And then I have some Tim Holtz ephemera. I have the little cards, the vocabulary cards, which I think are cute. So I think I will put these on the inside along with the stamps. Then I have some of his bigger ephemera, like this and like this. And so I think I'll add this to my printables on the inside there. And then I have some of his botanical ephemera. And also I will add this to the inside here keep it nice and flat. So I think I have almost every pocket full now. I also have some real stamps, like uh, bird stamps here, really pretty ones. I forget where I got these two. I, I end up buying so much and then I kind of put it away and forget about it and I don't remember where I got these, I'm sorry. Um, but I'm sure you could eBay or Etsy and you'd find them. Um, I'm gonna put them in with my other stamps, the sticker ones. We're getting chunky. And then finally, I have like these really fun sort of numbers. Um, I thought it would be cool to kind of add to spreads. And so oh, one fell in there. So I think it wants to go in there too. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and shove those in there. And that is it. We are done. We put our little Delphonics pouch together. How cute and chunky does that look? I'm all ready for the parks. And it's really cool because it's like basically the same size as the journal there. And everything's nice and tight. Well, except for this pen, but it doesn't look like anything's going to fall out. Um, I might reconsider this pen and put it in here where it's safe. Ta-da! Nothing's falling out. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed how I put my Delphonics pouch together. Um, I am an avid fan of these pouches ever since I saw My Life Mitts. Kind of put hers together and... I instantly went on Amazon and bought one and that was like, I don't know, a year, two years ago, but I really wanted the black one and that's been sold out everywhere. I can't find it anywhere. I have a blue big giant one. I have a cute little pink one and I'm highly considering getting the big, um, big sister to this one, the big one, uh, in the same colors. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank you so much for stopping by. I love you so much and I will see you on the next one.